So if we go to File, Examples, Digital and Button, this will open the sketch. Let's make it larger so it's easier to see. And close that one behind. And we're going to verify it. Of course, it'll work and then we will load it to our Arduino. We're still using the Leonardo. And what this sketch does, just as a very quick reminder, is that it has a button which is uh, connected to pin 2 and there's an LED on pin 13 and when you press the button the LED turns on. So let's have a quick look at that and press the button and the LED on the board turns on. We also have an additional LED here just to make it easier to see. Let go of the button, the LED goes out, press the button and the LED goes on. Now, this is a very simple sketch and you know, if you were had a problem with it, you could probably find it quite easily. But as your sketches become more complex, sometimes you don't know if a particular part of the sketch, the program is running. So what we do is to insert some code which uses the serial monitor and it acts sort of like a, a special tool. So if that bit of software is running, it will send some information from the Arduino out on the serial port to the development environment and print it so that you can see it is running. Now we're going to take a little bit of code and add it to this sketch and open the serial monitor window and demonstrate how it works. We have a little bit of code here that we have prepared and I will just very quickly go through it. There is a variable, it's an unsigned long variable called time. Then in the main program loop, we're going to add where we want to print some information, these four lines. Serial print, that tells the Arduino to print to the serial port. Because this is in quotes, it prints it as text time colon space. It then sets the variable time to the command milliseconds. Now milliseconds or millis is the Arduino uh, command or variable which takes the number of milliseconds since the Arduino was last reset or powered on. And then we're going to use the serial print command again. And this time it's got an LN at the end which gives it a return to a new line at the end of it. And we're going to print the time. So this should print time colon space and then the number of milliseconds since this bit of code was last used. And then we're going to delay it by a thousand milliseconds a second because the program runs so fast that you can't press the switch for such a short time that it will only print once. So this just puts a little bit of delay in and then allows you to be able to release the button without printing it many times. Let's copy this into our code. So I'm going to copy the variable and drop it into the variables section. And then I'm going to copy the loop code and let's drop that into where it says if the button is, is pressed, is high, it's going to execute. So basically, if the button state is high, is on, it's going to turn the LED on, it's then going to print to the serial port this code. And that's it, that is it set up. So all we have to do now is to verify it, upload it, and see if it works. And uh, fingers crossed, we haven't made any mistakes, it will. So we'll verify it first, and it's done. So we will now upload it to the Arduino. It says uploading, and it's done uploading. And through some very clever technology, we can now open the serial monitor window and we can have on one side of the screen the serial monitor and on the other side of the screen the Arduino. So if I press the button now we should see on the serial monitor 
the time. So it says 21,975. So that's 21.975 seconds since we initialized the Arduino, which is when we gave it the new program to run. And if I press it again, you can see it's 40 seconds now, 44 seconds. The LED is coming on and staying on for a second now. It doesn't come off immediately. I release the button because of that delay loop that we put into the code.